Hello guys, welcome back. You know, I'm very excited today uh, because I just received my new watch, NTH Nazario Soro, that I bought from Watch Couch a couple days ago. Now, this model is limited edition. Uh, it's a Watch Couch exclusive model, and I'm very happy to have this beauty. There are some channel posted these gorgeous watches already. They are doing unboxing and review. So in this video, I'm gonna do a quick video and go straight to my deep review about this watch. Before I talk about the details of this watch, I have to see the piece in overall, you know. Uh, the reason I choose this model because the design is beautiful and as far as I can see, it is wonderful indeed very solid piece and again i have to say that chris put himself such a huge effort uh, on details to make this watch perfectly talking about first impression on this watch for me number one is this watch is extremely nice and cool design color combination on dial and bezel is just gorgeous number two is very well finished uh, the brush is excellent and especially the bezel that's my first impression, let's talk about the spec before going into deep. What I love about NTH, especially on the subs category, is every piece of them have a history or uh, have a reference from the past. And I will say it's a note to history. And this pretty dive watch was named as Nazario Soro. Uh, what, I, what does that mean? As, as it's dive watch under subs category of NTH, the name will be related to something about marine history. Uh, and this pretty face dive watch name is inspired by one of Italian history submarine operated by the man uh, named Nazario Soro in World War I. So that's the name comes from. Most people probably never think that this beautiful face watch design is reminiscent of a very old Rolex 1937, the Zero Graph, with 3346 as a reference number. White stainless steel bezel with red color combination on the marker is clearly a note to Rolex Zero Graph. California dial style, it is Rolex Zero Graph. It is actually good when you when you can tell the story about your watch. Uh, you, you can see the hour hands and the minute hands. It's reminiscent of World War I Squale hand style. And the blue color and gold combination is kind of modernization on this hand on the watch. Now this review start very interesting, right? Let's go on to some more details of this watch. Can you see how nice the finish is? The brushing on the case extremely perfect as well as the polish and the brush combination on the bezel teeth. I think you guys will agree that the dial is very cool and indeed it is very cool. Uh, it's kind of texturized but it's random textured and the best thing is that everything perfectly plays. Every, every detail is perfectly placed with high precision. All details on the dial is a 3D embossed from the logo to the marker. Look at that, that's cool, you know. It's happened on the lower part on the dial too. Now we move to the insert finish. I can see clearly that again Chris is very detailed on making this piece. The crown is without crown guard, it's a clearly note to a vintage Rolex. I believe the maker want to make the back case as simple as possible. That is, that is why they minimize the engraving back there. I personally expecting more deep complex engravings like Omega Seamaster for example. Uh, you can agree with me or you love this minimalist case bag. It's up to you. As I mentioned on my video before about Skipjack, the NTH bracelet is really nice. I think it's all brushed and the NTH use secure folding class with the logo there, easy brushless adjustment with screws, and they give you six position of micro adjustment to get better fitment to your wrist. First, you need to open the clasp pin. You still cannot open the clasp until uh, you push the two button there. It is very secure features. Technical wise, you need directional bezel rotation, 
uh, 120 clicks which is very tight there's no small shake at all when you try to turn the opposite way screw down crown is a mass on a dive watch first position is for manual winding to power up very nice crown handle second position is empty maybe some people call it as a ghost position it's nothing changed because it should be for date features but this watch has no date the third position is for setting the time clearly hack movement because the second hand is stopped while you set the time uh, I have to mention in this video again it is very easy to replace the bracelet if you are a strap guys like me they give you the easiest way by making a hole on the lugs and not even one minute you can take off the bracelet it's very nice especially for me some ones have some gap on the link which produce a shake when you play the bracelet this watch is very solid I can't see any gap on, uh, on end link uh, and there is no shaky feeling on that remove the bracelet and take it back is extremely fast and easy regardless how good the watch is the wearability is the key I said that before in my previous video but I feel like I have to mention this in this video as well the NTH uh, bracelet is extremely comfortable to wear um, very thin dive watch and I'll give you I give you two thumbs on this you know guys this is the most fun part of this beautiful watch the loom you know having loom on the dial and the hands is very normal it's regular watch every dive watch can do uh, but having loom on the bezel is kind of another level of fun you know it's and even more they put the loom in the whole dial you know and and you can see how details the maker of this watch is even though all dial is fully loom it's different bright compared to the loom on the hands and the bezel so you will easily tell the time especially the dial marker turn into dark and you will never make any mistakes to tell the time the crown is actually loom as well but i have no chance to make a good focus on that one all subs line up from NTH armed with Japan Mute Movement, 9015, 28, 800 vibration per hour, uh, more than 42 hours power reserve. You know, uh, it's very accurate movement after I test. And now my last question is what do you think? because i am quickly fallen to this watch extremely nice design solid build very detailed finishing and very reliable movement i think that's it for me guys i have to go leave a comment below if you have another judgment like if you like my video and subscribe for coming up video uh, just to update the channel that I will do review on the NTH and I will move to the other brands, you know. So stay tuned and hit the bell for notification. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.